Hello and welcome. I'm Maloney Bhatt, and this is a special conversation with one of the jury members of ZS Price. ZS is a management consulting and technology firm focused on transforming global healthcare and beyond. Founded in 1983, ZS has more than 12,000 employees in 35 offices worldwide. The aim of ZS Price is to identify groundbreaking ideas which can potentially solve some of the complex challenges of healthcare access and affordability in India at scale. And I'm very pleased to welcome one of the jury members of CS Prize, G.V. Prasad. He's the co-chair and MD, Dr. Reddy's lab. G.V. Prasad, thank you so very much for your time today. Thank you, thank you for having me. So, you know, uh, recognizing and advancing innovation in health and healthcare is the aim of CS Prize. When it comes to India, from your vantage, what are the biggest challenges in healthcare where tech can actually make an impact? Yeah, uh, thank you very much for this question. Uh, um, coming from a pharmaceutical industry, my views are shaped by that. Uh, but what we see uh, is that the disease burden is so high in India for any of these non-communicable diseases. That I think should be a big focus area for the country going forward. And uh, where tech can make a difference is access, screening, looking at uh, population level data, and refocusing our energies from uh, health from, uh, to address these challenges. Tech can do that. It can increase the access. The other thing is with all the you know, advances uh, in digital, in uh, sensorization and devices, we can do a lot more screening at a lot less cost. And this is where I think innovation can really make a difference. Uh, you know, many times uh, we detect a disease when it's too late, when the symptoms come out, it's too late, especially uh, in areas like cancer. Uh, also, we we see clusters of uh, challenges for the country due to local re reason. And uh, using uh, data, public health systems, we can detect these uh, and really address these challenges. So there's a lot technology and innovation can do to the country uh, serve its citizens' healthcare needs. Do you see some of that actually happening on the ground? I do see a lot. Uh, very interesting kind of uh, technologies coming up from the startup uh, uh, you know, ecosystem. Uh, I've seen something like uh, detecting cancer without the mammography with some you know, handheld device. This was, I thought, a breakthrough innovation. Similarly, the whole uh, you know, move towards creating a digital backbone, which the, 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 the government is... Uh, pushing to its uh, ABDM mission, uh, I think will create a lot more opportunity for uh, uh, people uh, in in the e-commerce space, in the digital space, uh, and transform the uh, the whole ecosystem for the effective re access to the last mile, uh, yeah. especially rural India. As you pointed out, uh, everything is uh, tech enabled. Tech is the backbone. You know, it's the base layer. But now with the 5G blockchain tech, can you paint us a picture of how you see healthcare in India evolving and the kind of policy uh, that you see could be required to make healthcare people-centric, accessible, and also affordable? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, if you, if you look at the moves the government is making to digitalize the backbone of healthcare, I think that's a phenomenal move. And as you've seen in digital payments, other and uh, now the coming up of open uh, you know, digital commerce, uh, all of that. So a similar system, which can become a public good and uh, a public infrastructure for all companies to connect to patients and uh, you know caregivers and uh, the all the players in the ecosystem, is a fantastic opportunity. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the government is back. And if they can accelerate what they're doing and also open it up uh, for private sector, private players to, any, to you know, uh, connect with the system and create innovative solutions, I think we will see acceleration of uh, you know, the reach to health of, uh, of healthcare to all parts of the country, as well as improve outcomes for, for all of us. You know, you've seen the space evolve over so many, many years. Uh, from your vantage, where do you think India stands when it comes to the health tech space versus the rest of the world? You know, in some cases, we are already a healthcare destination. But do you see India actually becoming a global 
health tech uh, solutions provider? So firstly, I think, uh, you know, coming from the pharmaceutical industry, the industry has made huge contributions to health in India and the world. Uh, but it's largely in the area of active ingredients, generics, and services. And uh, we've been pretty much dominant in all these three spaces, and I can see dominance coming into services. The next horizon for all of us who innovate, uh, innovate both in the basic products uh, that we, we can develop through the science, uh, though we are very strong in chemistry, I think we have some ways to go in disease biology, and we're doing that. We're learning as we go. Uh, using that to bring uh, products to the market, that's fundamentally our business. The second thing is making uh, the whole system work well together, using technology, using devices, using uh, you know the platform that the government is putting up. So you can get uh, you know both product innovation, service innovation, that the system level innovations. And uh, I think the, the field is ripe for some phenomenal uh, work happening out there. Uh, focusing on ZF Price, uh, and I want to link it to your uh, learnings and to your journey and your experience uh, in yeah, this yeah. health tech space. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what sort of advice would you give aspiring participants, you know, for looking uh, to be part of the solution of some of the biggest healthcare challenges uh, through the yeah. ZS Price program? Yeah, so the, the ZS price is, uh, is is great. I think uh, you not only give them funding, you're giving them mentorship and guidance and all of that. So I think entrepreneurs today are you know need the guidance and mentorship of seasoned people uh, who have seen it all. Uh, the 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 startups can bring the founders can bring their creativity and their ability to reimagine the system and connect it with outcomes. So I, I'm very uh, bullish about what you're trying to do here. And I think ZS can play an important role uh, in accelerating innovation in our fields. All right. Uh, Mr. Prasad, wonderful. Thank you so very much for speaking with us today and sharing your thoughts. Thank you, Milani.